y'all. It's Mary from uh, Rocky Mountain Gardens today. I uh, wanted to let you know that during the month of September, I'm going to be participating in uh, several, uh, let's see, home decor challenges and home tour collaborations. So uh, today, I'm uh, going to be showing you my first challenge, which is being hosted by Kim from Sweet Daisy Creations and Arlen, whose uh, YouTube channel is called Country, uh, let's see, Country Craft Corner. Hard to say those three C's. Anyway, um, they are hosting this first challenge and it is called the Fall Cozy Corner Challenge. And so I am going to uh, turn the camera around here in just a minute and give you a little tour of my cozy corner. Now, this cozy corner had to have uh, three elements in it that you had to use to participate. And that included some sort of structure to place your items on, your decorations. Uh, you had to have a garland and you had to have a plaque or a sign of some type. So those are all in uh, my design for my cozy corner. And I'm just going to say goodbye for now, just for a minute. And we'll be back to show you what my cozy corner looks like. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Here we are in my living room uh, where I have created my cozy corner. And so I'm kind of standing back here to give you a full view of the area that is my cozy corner. And I'm going to come closer a little bit here so you can see the different elements of this uh, decor. And you can see I do have my plaque here or my sign, which is about autumn. I really enjoy the words on this sign. Autumn leaves falling, warm colors, and holidays around the corner. And that's what I really look forward to at this time of year. So for my garland, I have interspersed a fall leaf garland with a lamb's ears garland to sort of tone down the orange in the leaves. Since in my living room and dining room area, as I said earlier, I'm going for a little bit more subtle fall colors and not quite so much in the oranges, the reds, and the yellows. Um, I do have a lot of house plants in my home and here you can see the dragon tree that lives in this corner of my living room all year long. And I've placed a pumpkin there as well as a little silver sparkly acorn. I got a box of these acorns from, um, I think it was from At Home, and I really like that silver color. Now I also have some fairy lights in my garland to light up the area, and a Luminara candle right there on the left. And here you can see another house plant that I've included which is a variegated English ivy plant. And I put a couple of orange pumpkins there. And the structures that I'm using for my cozy corner here are this uh, two stair step structure that I painted white. And then I also have down here an antique little chest that has a little, uh, door that opens on the top and I use that for a plant stand in my uh, living room area. And then I have this really gorgeous um, pumpkin, sort of a turquoisey color, that I'm pretty sure I purchased that at, um, uh, let's see, TJ Maxx at the Home Goods store. And then this pumpkin, this orange one here, I purchased at uh, Walmart, which 
they actually have some very good prices on their pumpkins. And then here I have a galvanized pitcher that I bought uh, at the end of the summer at Hobby Lobby. It was actually one of those items that was marked down 80%. And in there I placed flowers and I wanted to go with this purplish color in my fall decor, sort of a muted purple and whites. And I bought those all at uh, Michael's, of course, with 40% off coupons. And then here I have a little peacock plant, which is one of my favorite house plants. And then coming over this direction, I have a stacked pumpkin. And this is from Walmart, and I was really happy to find it. Uh, it came with the dark green pumpkin you see on the bottom, uh, sort of a lighter green pumpkin, and then the white pumpkin. But because I wanted to add more turquoise into my decor, I painted the middle pumpkin a light uh, sort of pastel turquoise color, which I think really adds a little pop to my cozy corner. So those are all of the elements of my cozy corner. And so here you are. I'm stepping back to give you the full view of my cozy corner. And I hope you enjoyed my take on the Cozy Corner Challenge. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, so long.